Phone rang a quarter to nine. She heard his voice on the other end of the line. She wondered what was wrong this time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And the second line is... Uh, Remember, this is set in 1996. It's 1996. The, the yeah, yeah. You know, it's cold out here and I'm all alone. I didn't make the short go again. Now I'm coming home. I know I've been away too long. Yeah. And, and long story short, she says, uh, she said, don't bother coming home. By the time you get here, I'll be long gone. There's somebody new. And he sure ain't no rodeo, man. I can't sing. I'm not singing. And, you know, he says, and, and he says, and this, and this is the line. This is the line. This is the breakup line. So keep in mind, he's, he's, he's you know, in love with this woman. He's missed her. He's been at his rodeo. He's just been saying that he's coming home now. Yep. You know, the rodeo didn't go too well. Can't wait to come home. And she says, there's somebody new. Don't bother coming home. Yep. His line is, well, I'm sorry it's come down to this. There's so much about you that I'm going to miss. But it's okay, baby. If I hurry, I can still make Cheyenne. Boom. Cheyenne is the capital of Wyoming, a famous yep. rodeo town. So he's just off to another yep. rodeo. Yep. Two lines and that is it. Who knows how long he's been with this woman? Yep. woman. Five years, six years, yep. a long time. Yeah. Sounds like he loves her. Yep, he does. And, and you know, 
Andrew and you had a conversation about this song the other day. Yeah. And Andrew made a solid point, and I'll just let you kind of requote what Andrew said about the song. Yeah. Well, I thought it was kind of cool how before he, uh, you know, you know, there's going to be so many comments underneath this song yeah. now saying Jay Waller sent me here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, You're welcome, I, George. <laughs> yeah, he needs our. Like, what the he, fuck? He needs yeah, our with help with his 50 number one hits. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, essentially, I was saying oh, it was pretty cool how, you know, he's telling this woman he loves her, etc. But when he hangs up the phone, you know, when he walks away, it seems he doesn't care. And he's like, no, he cares. He cares. He loves this woman. Right. And he really does. Because I've been there. Right. But when, so you know, but when you know it's time to say goodbye and you know you have to walk away, you walk away like a man. Yep. You keep your head held high. Yep. You leave that phone dangling off the hook. You left that phone dangling off the hook. He slowly turned around and gave it one last look. And what did he do? Walked away. Just walked away. Beautiful song. Yeah, and you know what? And he went out like a gentleman. Yeah. You know? But it encapsulates a lot of things about the way I conduct myself. And now I will literally... Literally, instead of saying something like, I don't remember what I used to say before, right. but it's something along the lines of, you know, I'm always, I'm always going to remember you. You know, it's, right. a tra it's a tragedy that blah, 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 blah. Right. And then like nice and politely, right. yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd be cool with it. Yeah. But now I literally type, I'm sorry it's come down to this. There's so much about you that I'm going to miss. Just so I can screenshot it and send you the screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> and he does. And he does. I get three a week from him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do about three, break up, three breakups a week, minutes. you know. I, I get so, it's a good number. Smile. So it's the way of the gang. So if you're really scared of going up to girls, then you need to have a conversation with who you hang around with. Why? Are they all scared? Are you talking about money? Probably not. Scared of going up to girls, not talking about money. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Damn. So, you know, you need to really consider that. Rolling with cowards, because being afraid to go up to a girl is cowards. Rolling with cowards is, is, is a much bigger deal than being with girls. Rolling with cowards can get you killed. If you're rolling with a coward and five guys come up to you, it's you and your boy, and your boy is visibly afraid. Yeah. He is making the he's making your enemies braver. Yep. He's giving your enemies power. Yep. So rolling with cowards is a bigger deal than girls. You need to be surrounded by killers. You need to be for your own safety. I'll tell you a very, very I have so many fucking stories. Let's do it. Let's do it, Andrew. All right. It's very short story. Bro. I was 18. I was 18 years old. I had this. I lived in a world. I grew up where I had beef with someone on the other side of the world. We both ran our mouths, but there was a day and a time. When it all was put on the line. Yep. Mm -hmm. But the manosphere is full of fucking cowards <clears throat> who don't put it on the line. They'll make YouTube videos and they'll insult you, but they intend to never see you. They want to hide from you forever. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is supposed to be the manosphere. There is a particular character in the manosphere who I've spoken to recently and sorted things out with. But this particular character kept saying my name. And I was like, my friend. I sat there to Tristan and said, he would not stand a chance against me. And he knows that. Mm. So why is he even saying my name? I don't understand. Maybe I'm crazy, right? But I'm the kind of guy, I have so much honor as an individual. I would never run my mouth about someone who I knew could certainly destroy me. Facts. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I'm Facts. just not that guy. I'm yeah. not the guy to sit there and go, this guy's an idiot. Da, 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 knowing that if I ever meet him, I'm totally fucked. Yeah. Problems. That, then, yeah. then you, that just makes you a moron. Yeah. That you're an idiot. If you were truly a man, you'd say, you know what? I don't like this and this and this about Tate, but... Tate serious. And yeah. It's probably better I just Not stay out. Punch in I the don't. Face yeah. If I meet if I meet Tate, I know I'm gonna have to just either lose or or capitulate. So why don't I just shut up? Internet tough guys, man. Internet tough guys. Facts. Internet tough guys. And Facts. the manosphere is the first time in my life I've been in, involved in all this beef where there's no fighting. So I have the solution to it all. <laughs> As you know, I work very closely with an MMA organization in Romania. Let's put on a tournament mm. and let's just fix this all. We're to, all supposed to be men. We'll give you all nine months to train. We can fucking make the matchups. And let's get this over with. <laughs> I'm done with it, let actually. The fucking, let's fix it. Because otherwise, it's just a whole bunch of crying your eyes out. And fucking people sitting there acting tough behind screens. Man, I, I don't want to say names, but the, 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 just one dude kept saying my name. We fixed it now. But I was like, bro, you fucking midget, bro. Shut up. <laughs> like the, It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, yeah, right? Unless you go out there and date and deal with other women. And the thing is, is that you need to sleep with girls to be able to do this. You need to conquer more islands to figure out if you're a good explorer or not. A lot of you motherfuckers are out here like, oh, I found this one island. That's good enough. Let me put my fucking flag here and claim this. No, you got to conquer multiple islands so you know what the fuck you're doing. You got to become a better conqueror, all right? And I hate to say it like that and that, you know, Terminology. With that analogy and that terminology, because I can already see feminist clipping that shit. Oh, my God. He's calling us islands. Fuck you, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I'm talking to the men here. All right? <laughs> you need to conquer multiple islands so that you are a good fucking traveler, a good conqueror, and you know what islands to stay at and what islands to get the fuck out of. Yeah. Uh, I would just say just as well, just to add to your point, 